Here's two Uniden cordless phones. The one on the right is a DCX150, and the one on the left is a DCX200. Interestingly enough, the DCX200 came before the DCX150. The DCS one or DCX rather 150, as seen on the right, is a very popular phone. It was first released somewhere around 2009, I believe, and was sold up until Uniden stopped manufacturing cordless phones last year. And I see these telephones throughout. Um, I'll see them in stores and such you know, being used as the store phone or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I know, I know several people that have these phones. So they're very popular. On the other hand, the DCX200 on the left does not seem to be a very popular phone. I have not seen them anywhere. Um, they are also a lot older. They're DEC6, but they were one of the first, if not the first, DEX 6 released by Uniden. So that would have been back in probably around 2006. Um, I don't remember exactly when. But anyways, what I want to do in this video is compare the two handsets and discuss some of the differences between the two. I'm not going to discuss how much I like the phones or how I think the features are executed because that's for an entirely separate video review which I will be doing in the near future. On the home screen of these phones there's two notable differences. Actually there's are there two? Yeah there's two. Um, the first one being the time display. This one has a time display this one does not, which is absurd, but again, I'm not going to go there because that's for a review video. They both display the banners the same, and the new caller ID displays the same on both phones. I just happened to cancel it off the Deck 6, or the, um, the one on the right earlier today. I don't know why I said Deck 6. They're both Deck 6. The other difference is the battery icons. Yeah, this, this one is having a bit of a strange glitch in the display right now. But you can see the battery is, is flat. It's pretty normal looking. Battery on this one is kind of curved, which uh, is a little strange. I don't know why they would do that. Now let's take a look in the menus here. Um, well, let's see. The caller ID, one of the biggest differences in functionality of these two phones is that this telephone has caller ID phone book match so when you put a number in the phone book it'll keep that name when it displays in the caller ID whereas that telephone does not and I'm not going to show you that feature because that would require me opening the phone book and displaying my friends and family's telephone numbers to the internet which is not something I'm going to do that having been said um, Let's take a look at the menus here. I'm going to open the menu on the other one too. The handset setup menus are pretty much the same. The DCX200 lacks a couple of features such as the T-coil feature. Um, you also notice it says edit voicemail number. That's just because the base unit it's linked to right now does not have an answering machine. If it was linked to a base unit that had an answering machine, it would look the same as the DCX-150. The other differences in the main menus are present, again, because of the fact that one of them is registered to a base with an answering machine, while the other one is not. If they were both on the answering machine, then the menus would be the same. That's pretty much it as far as the software differences go. Otherwise, they function pretty much the same. So let's take a look at the physical differences. You can see that this telephone does not have a belt clip, nor does it have a slot for a belt clip. 
It also does not have a headset jack. This telephone has a belt clip, and as is typical with belt clipped phones, it also has a headset jack. Let's turn these back around here. Clearly we can see that the DCX150 is slightly larger than the DCX200. The display is also notably larger. Uh, they're both three lines, but the font size of the DCX200, or the DCX150 rather, is in fact larger. Uh, the navigation buttons are uh, pretty much the same as far as up and down phone book caller ID goes. Um, speakerphone is down here on this one where speakerphone's next talk on this one. Intercom's in the same place. The menu button is moved over into the middle compared to this one. And the uh, message retrieval button is down here on this one. Redial is in the same place and uh, I think that's about it. They both have uh, message indicator lights up at the top left. Uh, there is one more thing to note about these phones and that would be the batteries. The DCX 150 uses a proper AA size battery pack. Now this is a very cheap replacement. The I... camera battery just spoilt. Anyways, as I was saying, this battery depot thingy, uh, I, I can't say I'd recommend these batteries. Those aren't the greatest. Now, the uh, DCX200 came with uh, AAA battery packs, which are smaller. I don't like those. They tend not to last quite as long. Um, although what's also interesting is that these originally came with nickel cadmium batteries, whereas these originally come with nickel metal hydride. So theoretically, these nickel metal hydride batteries should be better, but I haven't really found that to be the case. Alright, well that just about wraps up the video. I don't think there's anything else to be said about these two telephones in terms of comparisons. So, hopefully that video was interesting to somebody. I don't know, I thought it was interesting, so I'm sure somebody out there thought it was interesting as well. I will make separate videos of these telephones in the near future to give them a full review. Over and out.